Hey man, say man, it's your boy back with another banger video with the summer 2020 anime season, well not actually summer, depending on where you live in the world. For me it was winter, that was terrible, horrible, but yeah, it is officially summer season on Crunchyroll, so we'll go with that. In today's video I will be ranking the top 10 best anime of summer 2020. This list is not at all biased, maybe number one is biased, but if you've seen number one then you'll know why it is number one, it is peak fiction after all. I have not watched every season of so please do not attack me in the comments, please do not. Do remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and share this video to 5 friends, the support really does help me. So with that, let's get into this video. Number 10, The God of High School. Bro, to say this anime is mid is a compliment. It is terrible. Terrible. Don't even tell me it isn't. Crunchyroll, a studio mapper, whoever messed it up deserves to be punished. Punished. Bro, don't come in the comments. Oh, but they only skipped a few parts. They skipped many parts. The parts that made the build up great, that kept the plot going, the plot is all over the place and the build ups are so poor. As a webtoon reader I am disappointed, at this rate the magician's goated moments will be ruined. They already ruined Mori vs Park Epo and uh, oh, and the opening is trash. You're probably wondering why it is even on the list. The reason is animation, it was amazing, good enough to get it on the list. So yeah, my advice if you're watching the God of High School anime, read the damn webtoon, it's a hundred times, not even a hundred times, a thousand times, a million times, infinity times better than the anime adaptation. Number 9, Rent a Girlfriend. A lot of people hate this anime, a lot of people love it, but whatever you say about it, the waifus are still great, except for mommy, everybody hates mommy, all my homies hate mommy, me included. The problem I had with this anime was the main character. I don't like him at all and there's nothing interesting about him. He may be relatable to some of you guys, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do think the great wife is make up for the bad main character, but he's not as bad as well, you know, cough cough hero darling, darling in the franks. I have nothing against Mizuhara and Sumi is best girl. If you don't agree with me, you weird buddy. You weird, buddy? You're weird! You're just weird. Number 8, Black Clover. Bro, Black Clover is literally in a filler arc and doing better than the god of high school. Filler arc. Oh yeah, and where is that Black Clover anime is getting cancelled? <laughs> Talk about pain. The animation really stepped up from before and the plot ain't that bad. Hopefully the animation is the same for the Dark Triad arc. The new opening is heat but it is still filler and all my homies hate filler. Number 7, The Misfit of the Demon King Academy. All I've heard are good things about this anime. You're probably asking, Ravi, how can you rank an anime show you haven't seen? Well, I researched and looked at reviews of all the anime seasonals I haven't seen, and I had help from a friend, so please, do not, do not attack me in the comments. I did have help from someone. Number 6, Deca Dance. Another anime where all I've heard about it are good things. From the reviews and... From the reviews I've seen and what my friend told me about it, it has been nothing but heat. I don't actually know why I haven't seen it. I probably will when I don't even know. Maybe like later, later, whenever later is. Number 5, One Piece. Ah, the goats. The goats of all shonen. If One Piece was not in the top 5, it would be wrong. It's impossible for it to be that low. By the way, check out my One Piece post in his lobby review if you don't mind. I don't have much to say, we all know how goated One Piece is and it takes the number 5 spot. Number 4, Fire Force. Please, don't sleep on Fire Force. The first season may have been slow in the start, but season 2 is fire from the start. The new opening is gas, the animation is top tier, and the story goes hard. Tamaki is not getting undressed every episode and that's great. Shinran may not be a great main character, but he's definitely not the worst. Cough cough, 
dialing in the Franks. The fifth pillar arc was heat. Chinese Peninsula was good. And we have Soul Temple up next where we get to see the good spinning Maru and Joker in action. Don't sleep on pa don't sleep on Fire Force. It takes the well-deserved fourth, fourth spot. Bro, I can't talk. Before we get into the top three, please remember to smash that like button. Like button. Bro, my English, what's going on? Subscribe if you are new and please share this video to five friends. All the shares really do help. Oh, and before we get into the top three, some honorable mentions are Sword Art, Li Sword Art Online, Fruit Basket, The Millionaire Detective Balance, and yes, I did not mention Uzaki-chan. That show is trash. Trash. Nothing but trash. Number three, a certain scientific Railigan. I don't even know why I haven't picked up Railigan and Index. Misaka is such a cutie and seems like great waifu material. From the reviews I've seen and what my friends and from what my friend has told me, it deserves the number three spots. I will probably pick it up when I'm done with Bungo Stray Dogs. Hopefully, hopefully. Number two, Oregairu. This season has been nothing but pain. When I watch it, I'm in Spain, but the S is silent. Just why? Why, Hachiman? Why do you have to do Yui like that? She deserves better, and she is way better than Yukinon. Much, much better. But Oregaru does deserve the number two spot. It was a contender at one stage, but number one is just too good. Definitely check out Oregaru if you have not. It is my favorite rom com. But be prepared for pain, lots of pain and pain, pain, complications, but also be prepared for great, for great relatable main character, amazing writing, and top tier waifus. Or a guy who takes the well deserves second spot. Number one, ReZero. Ah, the one and only GOAT. If you know me in person or even from my videos, you'll know how much I love ReZero. Everything about it is amazing. This season, every episode was 10 out of 10. We got a brand new top wife, top tier waifu. Yes, sir. Satella finally appeared. Elsa returned. Everybody forgetting about Rem except for Subaru was great. Greed and Gluttony appeared. So many witches of sin appeared. Also, bro, I could also bro, I could wait. What's going on in my English? Pause. Pause. Okay, let's pause. Let's pause. Okay, let's get back to the video. Bro, I could go on and on about ReZero. It is amazing and never leaving my top 10. Definitely check it out if you haven't. It has amazing fights, great characters, top tier waifus, yes sir ski, amazing mysteries, great writing and more. ReZero as it stands is the best anime of summer 2020. Don't sleep on it. It may even be a contender for anime of the year. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I do apologize for not watching every seasonal. School is such a drag and been taking all of my time, bro. All my homies hate school. Comment down if you hate school. We all hate school, bro. Follow me on my Instagram at Drip. I will leave the link in bio. Do you agree with my rankings? Tell me in the comments. Thanks again for watching and supporting me. Stay safe and see you guys in my latest.